This is the guy to Georgia Outdoors. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but we are not in Georgia. We're actually in Maggie Valley at the uh, Catalucci Ski Area. Been hunting hard this year, duck hunting, deer hunting, and so taking a break. We're skiing. I've got a couple buddies with me. Um, a first timer who's never skied before, Daryl, who hasn't skied in uh, about 10 years. So this should be interesting. The conditions aren't great, but this is uh, a much needed trip and it's fun. I love hanging out with my boys. So uh, let's see if we can tear these slopes up. So here we are, we're at the peak of the Catalucci skiing area. Tip top, um, from here you've got a couple of different options you can go. Obviously you can go down upper oh my gosh, which I have no interest in. Uh, you got upper snowbird and an easier way down. What we'll try to do quickly is we'll try to take you through a, a turn by turn feel and, and let you see some of the things you might encounter on your way down. first curve of sorts on this run. Now what you're gonna do here is gonna get a little hairy because it's now gonna force into a half pipe, if you will. You're probably 10, 12 yards wide. So things can get a little sketchy if there's several skiers on this. And it's got a pretty good slope on it. All right, so I just made it through the half pipe. This is the unofficial halfway point. We're done with all the real steep downhill stuff. It's gonna flatten out a little bit. And the lower you get, the more avenues you have to spread out. coming out of what I call the second of three 90 degree turns. So you better have your skis under control when you get to those turns. Uh, we're coming up on a third one actually here in just a second. big hard turn and then from here if you pan you can see it certainly opens up a, a good ways and you have several different options you can flatten out here you can go over here and hit the little um jump site they've got some rails you can grind i will not be grinding them in fact i'll be grinding my skis to make sure i don't get close to them So we just arrived at the final, uh, or the start of the final slope. This is kind of a congregating area. If you're not interested in going to the top, you start off here and you still get a good, good ski downhill from here. It's a lot flatter, less stuff you're gonna run into. And this is where we meet Dustin. Yeah, this is, this is Dustin's home. See exhibit A, he is clinching on them ski pants very tight. Slow down, Dustin. <laughs> right there, back where we started. Hey, well, you saw how the run ended up. If you will, show them how close we are to the finish line. The pro the challenge right now is Dustin's so close, and he just can't get the ball across the goal line. I mean, he can see it, taste it, smell it, but this is where he ends up at every time. Fourth and goal. It's President's Day weekend, which is probably one of the busiest weekends of the year, and it's starting to get packed. We got here at 8.30 this morning, uh, $93 for a four-hour session because it's the holiday uh, rates. 
Um, but the good thing about uh, skiing here is within 15 minutes of parking, we're actually ready to be on the slope. So there's not a whole lot of time for, uh, for waiting and getting a line. Uh, we bought our tickets in advance and they are doing everything they can to social distance mask up. Uh, not too many people in there at one time. So I appreciate that. The uh, conditions are not the greatest. It's raining, but hey, they can't have, they don't have no control over that. Well, we're still having a good time. Daryl, he has improved dramatically over the last couple of runs, but his first run was just uh, a brutal beatdown. But uh, we're enjoying it. We're going to get a few more runs in and uh, get our money's worth before one o'clock before we head back to Georgia. certainly not going to confuse this with skiing in Colorado or West Virginia but if you have kids that never get to see snow like our kids it's worth the five and a half hour ride up here I mean you literally can do it in 30 hours you can drive up spend the evening stay in a hotel get up and ski and you can be back home the next afternoon and you do get that experience of being in, a, in, in the snow of course they got a lodge up there it's nothing to write home about but if you're coming for a lodge experience this isn't the place to come if you're coming to ski this works for you. All right, so this was my first time skiing. I would definitely try it again. Knowing what I know now, um, some of the things to avoid, work on that. We just got changed up. I can tell this is the peak time because people are pulling in left and right. We're done for the day. Um, a lot of fun, no major injuries yet. Daryl's still to be determined. He took some, uh, some pretty nasty falls. Dustin, you know, he had to get his ski legs under him, but he said he's uh, coming back, so a lot of fun. Um, to the next video, this has been the unofficial No Doubt Incomplete Guide, Georgia Outdoors.